Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing very well. So for today's video, I've decided to show you my everyday makeup routine. This is something that I'd wear generally on the daily, say if I am going to be wearing a more full face look. This is kind of like my default option. If I don't know what to do with my makeup, I'll go for something like this. I like to think of this look as something fairly glam, but also fairly natural. I say the word natural very, very loosely, um, but it has got some nice like natural tones and browns and things like that. It's just pretty full face as well. So if you do want to see how I created this look, then please carry on watching. Ooh, okay, let's do this. So as you can see, I've already got my brows on. I've done that just to save time today. But if you do want to see an updated brow routine, then I will leave a link to my latest one down below. First of all, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay B6. It's the vitamin infused complexion prep spray, and it reduces redness, pore minimizing, oil absorbing. It's great. I forget to use it a lot of the time, but I do really like it. So I'm going to chuck that all over my face and doesn't taste too bad. Okay, so now that's on, I'm going to go straight in with a primer. I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This one is the Smoothing Primer. And I'm just going to chuck that down my nose and chin and just anywhere I have more pores, basically. And just spread that bad boy out. Next I'm going to go in with my Milani 2-in-1 foundation. I do use the um, Decay one quite a lot. I tend to mix it up between this one and the other Decay one. Um, it's just that my skin has cleared up a lot recently, so I'm going in with this one just because it's a little bit less full coverage. Buff that on. Next I'm going to chuck some concealer on my face. You guys know I love the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I'm just going to take a tiny little amount, pop that under my eyes. If you guys haven't tried this and you do suffer with like under eye, circles or anything like that, you need it. It's so, so good. So I'm literally just patting that underneath my eye with my fingers. Then I'm just going to pat any of the excess that I have left on my finger just around any blemishes. I don't have them anymore, but I do have slight scars from where they were before, so I'm just going over that quickly. Next I'm going to move on to eyes. So for this I'm going to be priming my eyes using the Maybelline Colour Tattoo in the shade Creme de Nude. And just pop that all over the lid using a concealer buffer brush by Zoeva. So now that my eyeballs are all primed, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. And I'm going to use the shade, I always say this wrong, but I still like to say it this way, Tempura. I know that it's not called Tempura, that's like a sushi sort of fried thing. But to me, it'll always be Tempura. I think it's actually called Tempera. Same thing. And I'm just going to pack that over the lid just to set that in place. For this, I'm just using the Zoeva Luxe Grand Shader. There's no real reason as to why I'm using it. It's just clean and it's quite big, so it covers my eyelids a lot quicker. Next, for our transition shade, I'm going to go in with the shade Warm Taupe. Pop a little bit of that on a fluffy brush, tab off the excess, and just pop that in the crease. I always like to make sure that I keep my eyes open when I'm doing my shadow, just because I don't have hooded eyes, but I do have a slight sort of heavier brow. I've got like a lot of skin going on here, so it can kind of make my eyes look hooded sometimes. So by keeping them like open while I'm doing my makeup, I can see how it'll look when I'm actually walking around with my eyes open, because you don't tend to walk around like this. Your eyeshadow might look great like this, but on the daily, it's not going to look fab. So if I was just doing a super, super everyday look, just something that I'd maybe head out for like a coffee in or something, then I probably would just literally like fill in the crease of my eye and that's it. But that's a bit boring for you. So today I'm going to be just doing something ever so slightly different, but it is an everyday look that I like to wear quite a lot. Next using the same brush, I'm going to go in with Raw Sienna, which is like a warm brown shade. And I'm going to pop that slightly under my crease. And then just to add a little bit of dimension, again, same brush going in with Burnt Orange. I like to use the same brush because if it's every day, I don't want to go around switching up all my brushes every five seconds. I don't ever go on the... I just realised I'm flipping you guys off, sorry. Um, I don't ever go on the inner corner of my eye with shadow. I maybe blend it in slightly, but I kind of stop around here. Just because I've got quite round eyes, but I like to make them look more almond shaped. So if I put shadow around here, it kind of elongates them a little bit. And then I'm just going to get another clean brush, go back in with, where was it? Um, tempera and a tiny little bit of warm taupe tap off the excess and use that to blend everything out into my brow. And then this is probably my favourite thing to do just because I find it brings the whole look together. I'm going to be taking a little bit of burnt orange and a little bit of raw sienna, tap off the excess. I'm going to go with a little bit of warm taupe as well because why the hell not? And I'm going to go underneath my eyes. 
and I'm gonna really smoke this out. Next I'm gonna go in with my mascara. I've actually recently, wait, been loving this Essence one. This is so, so good. I'm 100% picking up another one of these when I next go into Walkinson's. It's the Essence Rock and Doll Crazy XXXL Volume Mascara. So, so good. But today, as always, I'm gonna be going with my Rodeo Mascara. This one's XXL as well, actually. It's the Glam Lash. Another tip if you want more almondy shaped eyes, pull your mascara out this way. Um, I could lift up all of my lashes, but it just makes my eyes look bigger and rounder. So if I, I kind of just leave these lashes here and I just focus mostly on the middle ones and the ones on the outside and I just pull them outwards a little bit. I can't make pretty faces when I do my mascara, I just can't do it. Next I'm going to contour my face with a brand new product that I never ever use and by that I mean I use it every single day of my life. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I'm just going to pop that on a cream cheek blush, blush, brush. I think it is meant for blush but I use it for contouring. I'm also going to go slightly under my chin, chin, that's an attractive noise. And then I'm going to go in with blusher, this is the Sigma Corda Rose Aura Powder. I'm going in with the same brush as I use for contouring. Pop that on my cheeks. I don't like too much blush, so I do use quite a light hand. And I just realised I forgot to contour my nose and my lip. All I do for that is I literally just pop a little bit of the same Too Faced powder under my septum, just to shorten that a little bit. Just make my nose look a little bit more teeny tiny. And then for my lip, I just go underneath like that, because it just makes it look like it's got more of a shadow. Next is my favourite thing to do. I'm going to be going in with highlighter and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Glow Kit in the shade That Glow. I'm going to be going in the shade Bubbly. This is actually a brand new fan brush that I haven't used before. This one is just from Eco Tools. I don't know if it has a name. Um, highlighting fan brush. So I'm just going to pop that over the cheekbones. You guys may have noticed that I haven't put any like translucent powder or anything on yet. That's because I like to do that last now. I've realised that my highlighter looks way more banging if I put it over the top of my foundation as opposed to over the top of another powder. Next I'm just going to take the E39 brush from Sigma, this is my favourite to do this with, and pop some of that highlighter on the corner of my eyes, and then I'm also going to pop some on the brow bone as well. So now that there's enough highlighter on my face to ensure that the aliens from space can see my glow, I'm going to go in with a powder. This is a recent discovery of mine, it's the Daniel Sandler Invisible Veil Powder, and this stuff really is invisible. I'm just going to pop that on the T-zone, and you can see it almost instantly mattifies it, but without looking dry. Let me show you. So I'm looking a little bit more shiny here, and I'm just going to go over with the powder under my eyes. It just takes away the, like, the shine instantly, it's so good. Next we're going to move on to lips. Today I fancy a more nude lip, so I'm going to go in with the W7 Lip Twister. This one is in the shade Very Nude. And I'm going to overline my lips as always. I like to go right across the cupid's bow because it makes my lips look a little bit more full. I also go quite far underneath my lips because we've drawn the like shadow underneath. I feel like I can get away with it a bit more. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with something new that I've been loving. You guys know I love me some liquid lipsticks. Funnily enough though, I've never actually tried the NYX um, Soft Matte Lip Cream. I've tried like dupes of it, like I've got the Poundland one and I've got a Manhattan one and I think I've got another brand like it as well. I'm sure they're all made in like the same factory or whatever, but I tried this recently, I just picked it up on a whim. This one is in the shade, is it Cairo? Yeah, I got it in the shade Cairo, which is on the lighter shades. I'm obsessed. They smell so good. I'm just going to pop that over the top. So you can see it's super, super nude, kind of airing on the edge of concealer lips. I like concealer lips. And then to both set my makeup in place and also kind of melt it down so it looks a bit more natural, even though this definitely isn't a natural look, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay All Night Spray. Excuse how messy mine is, it literally just exploded all over me. So I'm just going to go in with that. 
Okay, so that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully those of you that asked for it found it useful. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe if you do want to see more of me. I post three times a week on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.